All right, you guys. It is December 9th, 2021 again. We are starting to get a little accumulation. Obviously not as much on this side, but we're gonna go around the lake. And I'm hoping we don't hit a bunch of traffic on the other side. You know what? I'm not even gonna take that risk. We're gonna go around the lake the other way. I'm gonna turn around right here. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. All right, here we go. We're on Stanfield Cutoff, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the lake over here. Woo, that's cold. Over there, there's going to be heavier snow, as you can see. And that's the direction we are going. Over here is Baldwin Lake. They get a less, significantly less snow out that direction. I always tell you guys uh, which part of towns get, which part of this town gets the most snow. And uh, over by the Big Bear Dam, they get more snow than most places in town. And obviously right up against the ski resorts, they'll get more snow. But the further you go in towards Big Bear City and further out that direction, the snowfall accumulations seem to, uh, they cease to be what they are over here every time. It's very rare to get the same amount of snow on that side of town as this side of town. Maybe that's why the ski resorts are over here. But yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. I mean, this is nothing compared to what's coming, but this is still the biggest snow we've had so far this season. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Man, I'm a little bit tired, but I love this. So the reason why we're going this way around town is because most people are gonna be coming into town and the way I was originally going, I was gonna to have to get stuck in all that traffic. I'm gonna go the opposite direction so we're not hitting any traffic, really. But we're gonna drive around the lake so you guys can see more and more snow accumulation. The further we go this way, guys, the whiter it will get. Shooter, let's go to Sizzler. All right, that uh, was my Happy Gilmore reference. You want to go to you want to go to Sizzler, or was it Red Lobster? I think it was the Sizzler, but yeah. Hi guys, so we're gonna head back out here. I just had to make a little stop real quick. Show some love to my locals. All right, and look at up here. We got some little blue peeking through, but the further we go to the left, once we make this left turn, it's gonna be uh, significantly heavier snow. At least that's how it usually is. Then again, we're not getting much out of this storm, but as you guys can see, it's accumulating a little bit, which is nice. It turns everything white. I think that's beautiful. <sighs> I'm freaking starving. <sighs> Come on, people. Come on.
And guys, look, I know I sometimes drive a little bit fast. I promise you I'm not gonna go faster than the speed limit. And if conditions were not primed for me to drive like this, I would be driving slower, I promise you. I've been doing this for so many years. I'm very cognizant of other drivers not knowing how to drive up here. So I'm very careful, but I want you guys to know that I'm not selfish. I'm not trying to hurt anybody, kill anybody, okay? This is, this is awesome. So yeah, we're gonna go around the lake real quick. So we can see what it's like over in Fawn Skin. We're not gonna go deep into Big Bear City. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do the whole thing, forget it. So you guys can see how, how the difference in snow amounts really is. It's, it's, we get a lot more snow out this direction than we do the other direction. So cool. My mom left me a comment on one of the videos. That was so cool. Love you, mom. Thank you for everything. Thank you for supporting me so much through this illness. As I told you guys, she's coming up Sunday through, through Wednesday. I begged her. And so she's gonna be here for this big storm. We rented, a, or I, I rented us a nice hotel, one of the biggest spots in the Black Forest Lodge, and we've never stayed there yet, so I'm gonna do a video of that place as well. So you guys can see what you're getting into over there. I think for the three nights with tax and everything, it was about 900 bucks. But as I said, I got one of their nicest rooms available. Because, uh, guys deserve it and I want you guys to see what some of the nicer amenities are up here I grew up in Newport Beach and and so fortunately or unfortunately I kind of like some of the nicer things you know and I work hard for it so I won't feel guilty about doing nice things you know Only people who have ever given me crap about, oh, dude, I don't know why you waste your money doing that stupid stuff. And these are the people who don't have money to be able to go do this quote unquote stupid stuff. So it's just really frustrating, man. I want all of you to work your asses off, be the best you can be, and just put everything you can into what you believe in. And you know what? No matter what, you'll never work a day in your life. And if money comes in, then that's just icing on the cake. Look, see, we're getting more accumulation the further we go this direction. How cool is this? I like it a lot. That bobsled would be fun in the snow. get to the dam it should be super windy over there too Man, I would 
past this guy with like no problem, but you guys have taught me how to kind of be a little more patient. And I'm grateful for that. Look at this side over here. Oh yeah, I love this. Oh heck yeah. This person is turning. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Remember, I just put my snow tires on two days ago. And with my lift and the Subaru drivetrain, we're good to go. You always must be vigilant, always. But uh, this is this is my this is my pastime now, driving in in the snow, and I like it a lot. It makes me feel so good. Here's Boulder Bay Park to the right. <laughs> a bunch of people are there right now. Okay, so this can get a little sketchy. This little turn area here. Hopefully we don't go into the side. But I think we'll be fine. amazing how much more snow there is just over here and it's gonna get more and more as well not much more but it'll be more so this is the main drag that you guys usually come in on on highway 18 on the front side you'll take highway 330 up to highway 18 to Big Bear and then once you enter enter Big Bear highway 18 turns into Big Bear Boulevard We're going to make this one a little longer than usual. We're going to drive all the way into Bear City near near the end. We might actually come out through Baldwin, to tell you the truth. Just so you guys can really see the Big Bear Snow Rules. So this is going to be a long video. But I love doing it for you guys. And it will give a lot of you a chance to see like what part of town you're in. I don't think we're going to make it up to Sugarloaf on this drive. Only because it's already going to be really, really, really long. But we'll eventually get up there. Wow, look at how pretty that is, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. Man, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it's already this time of year. Temperature is still 33 degrees. I'm hoping these people are not going into Fonsian or we're gonna be stuck behind them the whole time. Not a big deal, I'm not complaining. I just kind of, it's the long drive, so I wanna make sure we kind of get through it without any issue. But I'm hoping they're gonna turn or go straight like they're leaving. That would be fantastic. To save us a little bit of time. Please stay straight, you guys. Please stay straight, you guys. Please, please, please. 
please, 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 please stay straight. Please stay straight. Yes. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. All right. We're heading towards Fonskin now, guys. And the lake is on the right-hand side. It's going to be hard to see, but that's the lake right there. anxiety stuff is making me a little bit tired not too tired to drive you guys not too dangerous to drive I would never do that and I hope you guys truly understand that <coughs> yeah you can't even see the lake and the lakes literally 15 feet here to the right completely socked in I'm trying to get you guys a view we'll get a nice view up here there we go there's a little something right there Oh yeah, look at that. It looks like an ocean because you can't see the opposite side of the lake. I love that. That's awesome. Juicy there. Okay, as I said, we're right along the lake here on the right, so I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's it looks spectacular right now. As I said, it looks like the ocean. It kind of feels like where I grew up in Newport Beach, which I miss dearly. But this is my new hometown. I'm super excited about it. I guess it's not that new anymore. I've been here, this is my seventh season doing this. Never missed one storm yet, you guys. A stroke or a heart attack could not keep me away, I promise. No freaking way. I can't believe that that stuff is like almost happening to me. I'm not even that old, so. That just shows, guys, don't abuse your body with stuff that you shouldn't be. It'll catch up to you. Okay, and so we're getting near like one of like the eagle habitat or something like that on the left hand side. Yep, closed eagle habitat area. All right, guys, so once we enter fawn skin here, the speed limit is 25. You do not want to go past 25, so we got to slow down a bit. Don't forget, a big source of income for this town is 
popping you guys for DUIs, giving you guys tickets. So please do not give the authorities up here any reason to make your trip miserable because they will try, they will hide everywhere. I'm not saying that you should try and drink and drive and, and, and be sneaky about it, not at all. I don't want you drinking and driving at all. I'm just saying be very aware because uh, once again, that, that's a big source of income for this town is handing out tickets and making people's vacations miserable. And right now I'm going 35 in a 25 which isn't good, but everyone will live. Seriously, I can't wait to go home and throw down some food. Your boy is hungry. Hungry, hungry hippo. Stupid iPhone keeps on getting so hot. I'm really frustrated with that because it, it ends up shutting off. Oh, thanks, bro. Thank you, brother. That was very nice of you to let me buy. See, guys, that's that's how you drive up here. That's how you drive, just like that. Don't try to get into some sort of a war or like an ego trip if someone's on your butt and then you like brake check them and. And if they try to pass you, like change lanes real quick so they can't pass you, don't do that. Don't do that. People are armed up here. <laughs> don't do that. Just, uh, I tell my mom every time, if someone's on, on her butt, just pull over at the next pullout. Ego doesn't need to get you into any pain or trouble, okay? Because people up here, especially a lot of the drivers, they don't have patience. And I don't want you guys to be involved in any of that because you don't deserve any of that. Should be a little lake shot right there. Oh yeah, just beautiful. It's like a it's like a view at the Great Lakes. So we're in Fawn Skin, you guys. In the what the east side of Fonska? I'm not sure. East, south, west, or north? It's one of them for sure. I can guarantee you that. I love these Subarus because I drive the same one that's in front of us. But for me, the color like that is just saying, "Hey, police, look at me." I stick out like a sore thumb. I'm gonna pull you out of the pack. That's why I got a white one. I haven't put any stickers on my car. Got a regular license plate. This just looks like the mom's car. And with my train horn, no one expects that the train horn comes from this car. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Okay, so look, there's not much accumulation over here this side it's probably going to continue like this until Big Bear City it's amazing the other side of the lake where I live we get a lot more snow typically I know I'm gonna get crap for this from a lot of you. I know I am But I think this guy's being an intentional douche And we're gonna intentionally pass him when I have a chance I know you guys are gonna get mad at me about that. Please do not Please do not Once we got a straightaway, I'm gonna gun this four-cylinder down. And guys, look, seriously, I'm not a jerk. It's just, these are very, it's just so inconsiderate. Dude, 
Dude, I can't pass you like that. You're gonna have to like pull over all the way, my friend. Oh, here we go. See ya. What a Barney. Guys, sorry, sorry. They were going 27 miles an hour, okay? I know they're probably going for what's safe for them. And I suggest every single one of you do exactly what they were doing, okay? I feel bad about doing stuff like that, but it's just, it, there's rules of the road. There's being considerate. And so I gave them plenty of chances at plenty of pullouts to pull over and let the faster traffic by. That's just common sense. So please forgive me for being like that, you guys. We just have places to go and people to see. starting to come into some more snow over here, which is cool. I like that. All right. Oh my gosh, that firewood smells so good. Guys, that's like one of the biggest, best things up here. Right here, there's a lot of accidents, guys cars go crashing over this edge a lot so I, I know you guys don't know exactly where that spot is but just trying to point it out in case any of you remember for some some odd reason look at that lake oh my god we were on the window look at the lake guys come on man come on do we live in a beautiful place or what It's a little bit late, but I want to thank you guys for the 10,000 subscribers. I'm at like 9,996. By the time this video is done, I guarantee you we'll be over 10,000. And I'm, I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera away before I get emotional. It wasn't even a goal of mine, you guys. You guys know I've never asked you to subscribe or hit the like button, nothing like that. Because I love what I do and I don't want to sell out like that. I just want you guys to be stoked with the information I can bring you and the visualizations I can bring you so you can make a good determination whether you're gonna feel safe enough to come up here. Obviously, don't judge my driving skills on how it's gonna be up here because I do make it look really easy, but that's been years of practice. It's not as easy as it looks, but when you get up here and there's snow on the ground, go into some of the ski resort parking lots and just practice spinning out, doing donuts, all that stuff, constant regaining of control. Really important, really important, you guys. And it's not gonna take you long. Give yourself 20 minutes, and I promise you, you will get a good feel for your vehicle and it will keep you significantly safer. And it's fun doing donuts in those parking lots. So, you know, it's a win-win situation. It's a win-win. I just laughed and like a bunch of snot came out of my nose. I'm not gonna show you guys the camera, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. You know what? Yeah. How snotty of me. I'm a snotty bastard. Okay, guys, I love Big Bear. I freaking love this place. I love this topography. I love everything about this place. Even the things I don't love, I love. I'll tell you what, guys. The crappiest day in Big Bear for me, the worst day up here is better than my best day down the hill. And guys, keep in mind, I, I grew up on the water in Newport Beach in a seven bedroom, nine bathroom house with an elevator, 69 foot yacht in the backyard. My mom drove a Rolls Royce. My dad had a Porsche and a Mercedes. Like. 
it was the MTV Cribs lifestyle, you guys. And I thought that's how everyone grew up. But over the years, my parents lost basically everything. And so now I help my mom and dad out each month for three straight years. If you knew how gratifying that is, oh my gosh, it's the best feeling in the world. So anyway, I love you guys, man. I am so excited to do this. We are headed into the Bear City. We are in Bear City now. This is North Shore Bear City. This is the Russian, the Russian version of Nick. I like to have fun in driving the snow. Uh oh, is that a cop? Oh no. Uh oh, seriously, I think there's a cop behind me. I'm only going the speed limit, but he might pull me over and say, hey, you're not driving safe enough for the conditions. And I'll be like, do you know who I am? <laughs> just kidding. I would never do that. I would just try to outrun him. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Your boy's never been to jail. I'm 41 years old. You know, I'm just a goofball. I don't do anything to hurt people. I just try to make people laugh. And when I show them my face, it creates a lot of laughter. And I'm very, very happy for that. So we're on North Shore heading into this side of town that I say gets a little, it's gets so little snow compared to the other side of town. As a matter of fact, we're not gonna go all the way to Baldwin. We're gonna go to a street called Paradise and then turn down Paradise. So, here's Greenway. That's another road that will take you down to Big Bear Lake. You guys, once again, Thank you for all the love and support. I am forever in debt to you guys. Forever in debt to you guys. There are so many people that I that I, 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 I need to thank. I know I thank you guys in the responses to your comments, but still, you know, I love you guys a lot. So we're turning here on Paradise. The further we go out this way, guys, there's probably not any snow over there. And it's all in Bear Valley. There's only eight miles difference total from the dam to out there. So anyway, guys, hang tight for a moment. I need to contact this, this person. Hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Okay, so look, out that way, you can see the clouds are not quite as thick where we're getting less snow. You look out this way, it's freaking black out there. So yeah, if you look out that way, over to the right, like I just tried to show you guys. Is this Elijah? Yes. We are on Elijah Boulevard. Hi right, guys, hang on, I gotta do one more. Take a little side street real quick. No big deal. No big deal. And then we're gonna take Big Bear Boulevard back. Or actually, no guys, we're gonna take the back streets back. I'm gonna show you guys how to Avoid everything on Big Bear Boulevard. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. All right, so hang on a second, hang on a second. Am I on Elijah? It doesn't seem like it, but maybe I am. Oh, all right, sorry about that, you guys. So, we are headed back to the other side of town. I don't know if you guys did want me to take the back streets or not, but I am happy to show you the back streets. So it's still 33 degrees, you guys. Obviously this side of town, there's a, a little less snow, but they actually have a little bit of snow right here, which is cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn right here. which is the street we came down from North Shore, but we're gonna turn left on Paradise and take that all the way into Moon Ridge to avoid all the traffic on Big Bear Boulevard. You guys are gonna be very happy to see this. So basically behind us by about, I don't know, a quarter mile, a half a mile at the most is Maple, Maple Lane. And that goes into Sugarloaf. So 
not that far from Maple and the complete opposite end of town. But we are going to turn here on Paradise and take this all the way back home. Watch. So we're going to take this to, I think it's uh, Aeroplane or something like that. I think it's, it's Aeroplane. Let's see. Yep. Aeroplane. There's one of my customer people, I'm sorry, right there. I have a lot of them. So yeah, we are getting a little bit of snow. I know it seems like I'm going fast, I'm going 22. I know it's a neighborhood, speed limit is 25, but I will go a little bit slower because I don't want to run over any children. Those aren't the memories we want to create up here, guys. We do not want those memories. So we're gonna stay on this until we get to Sawmill. And then we'll turn left on Sawmill and continue taking the back streets. Pretty cool stuff. We're passing Greenway again, which is one of the major roads that goes uh, from one side of the lake to the other or yeah this part of town there is no lake but it takes you across that whole uh, prairie area oh that's really cute nice that's another uh, customer uh -huh. all right sawmill hook a left unbelievably good Mexican restaurant right here called Cocina de Mexico it's my favorite. Yo me gusta muchísimo comer la comida ahí. Los burritos y los tacos. Ay, ay, ay. Son muy rico. Y no cuesta muchísimo. No necesitas apagar much, mucho para comer ahí. Y ellos se dan muchísimo comida. Es un lugar que yo me gusta más que todos en Big Bear. Cocina de México. ¿Entiendes? Que yo soy uh, diciendo. I hope so. It's weird. Yo no puedo hablar muy, muy bien, pero yo entiendo todo. Cuando yo estaba chiquito, yo, yo, yo podía uh, podía hablar con todos. Entender todos. It was a good thing. I really love Spanish. I really love Spanish. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we're running parallel to Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. That's Big Bear Boulevard out there. Parallel with us, but everyone's stuck in traffic right there, and there's nobody here. So this is always beautiful. Even though I tell you guys lots of the shortcuts, I think you guys forget it, or or or, or don't really think about it, or can't remember which video it is, and you're not going to go through 3,000 videos to try and find out. But I've done this a lot, so there's probably at least 15 plus videos of me taking these special roads these back roads <laughs> okay so we are on Sugarloaf Boulevard now in Big Bear City and this will dead end at Division Road Look, there's no snow over here, guys. How, how crazy is that? But once we get back into my area, which isn't far, it's gonna be significantly more. Look at how pretty that house is right there. I love those Christmas lights, guys. I love the Christmas lights. They make me so happy. And those beanies, you guys, they should be here like right around Christmas time. So, I'll start letting you guys know when, when, when they show up. Lots of you have already purchased them, and I, and I don't even have them yet. But I'm thankful that you guys trust me. 
And I'm so excited to get these sent out to you guys. You have no idea. They are so gorgeous. As I said, they're 100% merino wool. It's like cashmere with my logo, Big Bear Weather and More, on a leather patch on the front of every single one of the beanies. It's just spectacular. I'm really happy. Okay, further we go this way, you'll start seeing more and more white. These are typically locals doing what I'm doing, just to avoid everything in town. And it doesn't really take you much longer. So it's, it's a pretty, pretty neat little thing we got going here. So now we're coming up to Fox Farm Road and we're gonna make a left. Because we're gonna head into Lower Moon Ridge through this direction. Nice signal, a little late, buddy. Jeez. Seriously. Oh my God, not my brights again. All right, here we go. And then guys, on this street, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna point out a couple of these houses that I, that I wanna rent for just everyone chilling. Look at how big these are. I know you can't really tell, but look at this. Look at how beautiful. Those are Airbnbs, you guys. Look at these. Unbelievable. I mean, humongous houses. I like that stuff. That's why I choose to stay in the nicest places when I can. So. So the street we were just on is called McAllister and it just turned into Cougar. And look, it's snowing again. And we get a lot more snow over here near where I live. Isn't that crazy? Everything's a lot more white just like a few hundred yards away. This is so cool. But I can't wait till the winter wonderland effect next week. That's gonna be awesome. I mean, this place is gonna look completely different next week. I am so excited. So these are the back roads, guys. This is dropping us off in Moonridge. We just gotta make a left here on Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. So we just gotta turn left here. And then we'll hit Moonridge Road. And if you wanna go to the ski resort, you turn left to go to Bear, and if you want to go to the zoo, you turn left, but if you want to exit out of Moon Ridge, what was that sound? Gotta make a right here. All right, very cool, very cool. Back on Moon Ridge Road. Oops, there's a cone. Hey guys, thank you for cruising with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy you guys a lot. Thanks again. And obviously if something changes, if it starts to really pick up, I'll be doing another video shortly um, because I'm obsessive compulsive about this. And I freaking love you guys, dude. It makes me so happy because I get to get comments from you guys. So I love you all very much. Cheers. And happy December 9th, 2021.